Wagner has a new CD and a television special. His one-hour show is uh, on tonight on CBC. Corey Hart joins us in a moment, but first, uh, from his new CD, here's his latest video, Black Cloud Rain. And Corey Hart joins us uh, now from Toronto. Thanks for coming in, Corey. Thank you. I don't know where to start. I mean, I was about 23 years old and, and madly in love with you, and you, you, then you disappeared. I mean, you, where did you go? <laughs> what have you done since uh, then? Well, I did I a lot. I heard you had a baby. Yeah, you had a baby, too. Yes, I had I two babies. I've, we've never met, but you were, you were just so big. Where did you go besides well, India? I, <laughs> I was in Montreal, actually. I just, uh, like you mentioned, I had, uh, I started recording when I was, um, when I was 21. And I, uh, you know, I recorded seven, six albums through the 80s and uh, hit 30 years old, 29, 30. And I really didn't have any more songs. And therefore, uh, I decided to take a couple of years off. And, uh, a couple years turned into close to five. No kidding. But tell me about this new CD because there is a lot of pain and anguish. I mean, you've been through a lot since since album. Um, yeah, I went through some changes, some personal changes. Uh, I went through a divorce and uh, also became a new dad. And uh, I fell in love. And um, all those um, emotions really uh, created the uh, the tapestry of songs that are on this record. What was the hardest thing about ending uh, your marriage? Because a lot of the album is about, the, you know, the end of love or the end of a relationship, I guess I should say. Yeah, yeah it, it's, not, it's not about the end of love, mm -hmm. uh, most certainly, but it is about the change uh, of, of a relationship that I was in for, you know, close to uh, 14 years. And uh, basically my world uh, became unhinged after that point. And... Uh, but uh, overall, I believe very strongly in, in, in love's power and, and love's ability to, to conquer all. And, and therefore, uh, most of the songs, despite the pain that they were uh, inspired by, um, resonate with, uh, with a positive uh, emotion of love and, uh, and uh, redemption. Now, you dedicate this album to your ex-wife. I mean, that seems to come right out of the blue, but not for you, obviously. Why did you decide to dedicate it to her? Well, um, like we've been talking, uh, basically, uh, this, a lot of the songs are about the, the period of time in my life, and uh, uh, her spirit um, will always be a, a very significant part of me, and, uh, and was uh, for the creation of many of these songs, so it just felt like a very natural thing for me to do. Now, you actually went out and became a farmer for a while, or tried to grow tomatoes anyhow? <laughs> Not really, Colleen. I think it lasted about two days. Oh! I, uh, yeah, I had a small little patch of land, and I uh, tried to grow some, uh, you know, Tuscany uh, uh, sun-ripened tomatoes, and it didn't work very well. <laughs> no, not a green thumb. No, no, no. Tell me about uh, fatherhood. Yeah, one of the songs on the new CD is a lullaby for uh, India. How has that uh, changed you? Well, it's, it's the most uh, wonderful thing. I was watching the hockey scores, and, and this past year, um, she's 16 months. I've basically fallen out of touch. I mean, I knew there was a Phoenix team. I didn't even know they were called the Coyotes. Yes. And I, I'm a big hockey fan. And um, it's one of the things that, you know, I realize how much things have changed because I really haven't been following hockey. I didn't really watch much of the World Series. And it doesn't bother me. That's what's really absurd about oh. it all is that it really doesn't bother me at all. I'm just so happy to spend, uh, you know, all my time, all my free time um, with my daughter. Are you happy now, by the way, because it does sound like you've been through a tremendous, you know, heartache uh, through your... I'm o yeah, I'm overjoyed. I'm, I'm very, very <laughs> happy, and uh, um, uh, the greatest thing that I've ever been um, able to experience is, is, is fatherhood, and uh, certainly, you know, making this new album was something that was important for me to do, and I, I'm very proud that, uh, you know, I have a new record out, and... Uh, and, and that, you know, people are, are, are reacting positively to it. And if you've got the special tonight on CBC, it airs at 8 o'clock. What will we find out about uh, Corey well, they call it th they call it a special, Colleen, but it's an hour. I don't know. It will, it, after people watch it, they'll decide whether it's special or not. Um, it's a retrospective uh, on my career. We, we, uh, we performed some of the old hits, uh, like an unplugged 96 version of them, and uh, some of the new material from, from this record. Do you have any regrets at all? Probably not meeting you earlier. <laughs>
very hard. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining uh, us. I can't believe I just said that, but I certainly look forward to your special tonight. <laughs> Thanks very much. Have a good day in Halifax. I will. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Things that just come spilling out. It's the excitement in the newsroom is just it's bubbling neat. over. I've never seen our entertainment weather sports person dissolve into a little puddle before, but yeah, there she is, just off the vapors. I've never <laughs> seen a case of the vapors before. <laughs> oh, Colleen, yes, that was definitely her shade of lipstick on the front of that TV.